Yo, yo, what's good, fam? I imagine you guys are all having an amazing day, having an amazing weekend so far. I wanted to hop on here before I went to sleep and just give you guys a quick market overview of just a few things that I'm looking at right now. So to really just kick things off, I want to start with the dollar. So with the dollar, you know, the last, you know, over the last couple of months, we've been pretty bullish. Um, just starting from the daily perspective. I really do think that um, that we, we could keep pushing higher. I think um, the just giving you guys more of a, a grander perspective. You know, we have been trending lower overall, right? But we've just put in this new range, right? We just created a new high. To cut this internal uh, lower high, we just created a BOS. We also did grab a ton of liquidity. And we do still have a lot of liquidity to target to the upside. So we have these highs and we have these equal highs right here. So to me, I still think there's a lot of room to go higher. But I think we could see pullbacks first to then see this thing go higher. So then if we jump on into the four hour, you know, just looking at structure wise, right? We've been putting in these higher highs, higher highs. And uh, we haven't really seen like a nice steeper pullback. So I think we can at least pull back into this last push down. Also, I believe that's a, a daily candle as well. So I want to see us come back to at least this daily candle. Before seeing this thing go higher. Um, so we can see this thing go higher from here. Or something else I, I really would like to see is, you know, I'll start to take out these lows, right? Take out these higher lows and then make a retracement to then go lower and then give us a steeper retracement into this range. So if we kind of fib this out from high to low this range, go at least into the discounted prices to see if we can get a reaccumulation within, you know, the discounted price of that range. And then there... I mean, if we do actually get sell offs from here, and then we do take out these uh, loans right there as well, which is kind of all is like liquidity as well. You know, we could possibly see this lower and see reaccumulation within this imbalance from here. So we could also possibly see this look go lower. That is, if the dollar wants to do this, right? I would like to see this happen. You know, so we can start seeing some clean sell offs to then buy up. Uh, to see a steeper retracement, but you know, there is a possibility that we just kind of respect this area and then go higher from there. So that's kind of what I'm seeing currently with the dollar. So now kind of with that in mind, you know, this week right now, or at least to begin the week, I'm just kind of waiting to see what the market wants to do, right? There's nothing like too clean yet. I'm waiting to see what, what the market wants to do. So in this case as well, right, we have like two scenarios that could happen. In my opinion, with EU, we have these eco lows that are just super clean that I feel like could we could come low down here and take those out. So I would like to see accumulation after sweeping these lows to really kind of put in that spring before seeing us go higher, creating new highs, pulling back, you know, and then seeing this and continue going higher just because we do have a lot of upside targets like this liquidity and then we have this institutional movement that grab liquidity where we can see possible sell-offs from there right so that's something that i'm currently seeing is something like that or you know we just go higher break this high right there pull back and go higher from there um so that's kind of what i'm, I'm currently seeing with euro GU, GU is something similar. You know, I think, I think uh, we will see start seeing some retracements higher. So something like this. So we drop down to the fifteen minute. I think we can start seeing some buys from this demand level. And we have that last down candle, internal liquidity. So 
So I would like to see us come like down into here, give us that accumulation schematic, and then continue seeing this and go higher. I'm just not convinced, too convinced on these OBs right now, these institutional movements. Um, you know, can we see sell-offs from here? Yeah, we could. You know, but I just I'm not a fan of, of selling you know, all the way in the bottom of a range, right? Like, we've already looked like we're pretty oversold. Um, but, I mean, you, I won't completely call, like, cancel, like, the fact that we can sell off from here. But in my opinion, I think um, just based off the dollar as well, like, we will see this thing go higher. Whether we go higher from here, you know, we, or we come into extreme OB and then buy it from those areas. And uh, just similar to Euro, you know, we have... Clean eagle high as a target, and then we have the uh, institutional movement as well, resting right above it that we didn't get right last week on Wednesday. We did talk about this area. Um, you know, we did it did it did mitigate the four hour OB right here. Damn, my computer is so slow. We did uh, mitigate out of this four hour, but on the one hour. You know, I wanted to see us sweep the all this liquidity, come into this imbalance, and then sell off. So I think we could finally work our way up into there, and then possibly see some sells in there. And then AU is pretty similar as well. I think, you know, we're we are in a pretty interesting area. I think we could see us also make a similar move as gu like i mentioned come into this range right i think if we can get a cleaner break of this high pull back into this area you can see this and go higher or we can put in that spring like a high marked up right here so that's kind of what I'm, I'm seeing currently with with au and you you know and you starting kind of looking like you know we swept these lows we're already kind of accumulating after sweeping these lows, putting in the spring. So I would like to see us you know, give us a retracement back into this area and then go higher. So kind of similar to AUG, uh, USD CAD. USD CAD has is, is been, she's been, she's been toxic lately. <laughs> um, but with USD CAD, right, I, I want to see sales, right? But I, I need to see these breaks of structure, though. These lows, and even ideally this one, right? Uh, before we see some sell offs to then buy this thing back up. So that's kind of what I'm seeing with UCAD, UJ. UJ has been looking pretty bullish. You know, we just took out these highs, right? We swept tons of liquidity right here. You know, we're not putting in this low and then this high. So, peep the four hour. So ideally, I would like to see us go lower to then buy back up. So I, I would like to see us come back into this candle right here. And then continue seeing the single higher. So that's kind of what I'm peeping with UJ right now. I think I really like this range. I think we can see some uh, accumulation. You know, if we can fib this out, come back into the discounted price. So, and then reaccumulate in here. Gold. Man, gold buys were crazy last week. No, I've been waiting for... I was waiting for us to come back into this candle. But, you know, we never really quite got there. So, I think gold... You know, right now, I'm just kind of waiting for gold to show me its next move. So, I want to see us break these highs or break this low and then wait for the, uh, some cells. 
So all right now I'm kind of I'm just sitting on my hands on gold, US 30, US 30. US 30. So we had all this movement from news on Friday. We swept these lows. Now we put in these this low and then this high. So we're currently playing within this range. So I want to see us get some sell offs and then see some possible re accumulation. Take this thing off. To, to, uh, to this thing to go higher and uh you know see some possible sell-offs within this institutional candle right here same thing with uh nas i think nas is looking pretty clean as well you can see some possible uh, mitigation from this area and then see this thing go higher same with s p s p as well you know these FU candles are just, just, just poking out like crazy. So I would like to see us bounce from there and then go higher. But uh, that's basically all I got for, for tonight, guys. I just wanted to run through a bunch of pairs, right? Um, you know, there's a few good things that are, are, are lining up right now. And I'm um, kind of excited to see, you know, how New York session happens. So that's kind of my updates for now, my market overview. Um, I'm going to be doing these every Sunday night. So, you know, keep an eye out on these. And uh, I'll see you guys during New York session. Have a great rest of your night. I'll see you guys in Discord. Peace out.